Right guys, hello, another video for you. Obviously this is Star Wars Squadrons, but what I want to do is focus on the voice attack software and talk about HCS voice packs. I just should point out this is for PC before console players get too excited. But the point of the video is just to do an overview to let you see it at work, see how it works, and help you decide if you want to get the voice attack software. It's pretty cheap, it's about nine pound, uh, but it's very useful and you'll see it at work and you know, help you make your mind up, hopefully. I will have another video coming pretty soon. What I'm gonna do is share some assets with you and show you how to put custom sounds into the HCS voice pack for Star Wars Squadron. So you will have R2-D2 beeping back at you as you give your voice commands. And that's what voice attack's all about. It's voice recognition software. The computer hears our voice. If it recognizes a phrase that's had a button bound to it, it'll push that button for you but in order for it to do that it needs profiles so you don't just have to do it for games it can work with any software really we can make our own profiles but many people will make them for us so if you do i don't know dcs world which is a military flight sim i like flying the tomcat in that there's a guy called bailey and he gives away profiles for many of the jets for that simulator so it's very nice of him They're very well done very cool guy uh, but sometimes we have to buy modules and sometimes we have to buy packs so I go see the guys at HCS Voice Packs, go to their website, and I've got packs for Elite Dangerous. There's so many buttons in that game. It's really, really helpful to be able to use my voice and just say lower landing gear or deploy cargo scoop, all of this stuff. Uh, there's just far too many buttons. So with Star Wars Squadrons, they've had to be uh, quite creative. They're very clever guys. And I'd rather they made the voice pack. They've had to do updates, and that didn't cost me any extra money. It was £10 for the voice pack for Star Wars Squadrons. And they give me an email saying, oh, we've done an update because there's new stuff to the game. Uh, so yeah, of course I could make my own profile, but I'll just leave it to the experts because they do a really, really good job. So we'll just head into customizing the ship. Of course, we've got the, got the B-Wing as well now. So this is where they've had to be really clever. Uh, we've got customization to each of these starfighters. Oh, helps when you push the right button, Hono. So primary weapon, burst cannon. We'll, we're just going to pull the trigger for that. We're not going to do it with our voice. But we've got the left and right auxiliary. Now we can go in here and change it around. We've got a repair droid. Or maybe I want it to have missiles on the left and torpedoes on the right. It's really up to me how I configure the Starfighter. Now, of course, I could just say fire left auxiliary, fire right auxiliary. That would work. I'm glad the guys put that in but we can add a little bit more flair to our voice commands. We can actually tell voice attack what loadout we have, what's where. In order to do that, I do need to give a voice command for it to turn on the mode. Loadout commands on. So I've got a beep from R2 that tells me it's recognized. It's now listening for where I want to put stuff. So repairs on left. Got a beep for that. Missile on right. Got another beep. Loadout commands off. So I can say that at any time, even when I'm in the cockpit, to change things around. Uh, if you jump into another Starfighter, you don't just have to do it on this screen. Ready for launch. Yeah, so the practice mode is a good way to show things off. We'll just demonstrate some of the, the useful commands we've got at our disposal using our voice. Reset HND. So that centered my VR view. You don't have to do this in VR. Voice attack will work with track IR when you're just using a monitor. But very useful to have that command as I like playing in VR. It's very immersive. Full throttle. <laughs> Max power to shields. So we'll let those overcharge. Max power to weapons. Max power to engines. So we're now overcharging the engines. We're building up boost, those gold bars. Activate boost. 
Stop all engines. Balance power. So maybe I just want to nudge a little bit of power into weapons. Power to weapons. Power to engines. So the shield levels dropped down a bit, but we've boosted engines and weapons. Balance power. Right, so let's head into the into the practice menu. We'll spawn in a, a squadron. Next target. They're not messing about, they're already on me already. Locked. So I've got it set to automatically target something, but we can still do it ourselves, either through the the Hotas, your joystick, or you can use your voice. So if I get something in view, lock target. There we go. Fire missile on my mark. Let's see where he's gone. Fire. Yeah, so that's fired the missile. I can see it's recharging and the target's destroyed. Deploy, deploy countermeasures on my mark. I did stumble on that. Deploy countermeasures on my mark. Mark. See in the middle, it's recharging. Fired countermeasures. Balance power. Post. Next target. Very cool having him beat back at me. Another target down. So there is a command to focus your shields front and rear. It doesn't seem to like working for me. I think it's to do with my HOTAS. If I had the default controls, it does work. So I'm not going to blame the guys at HCS. But honestly, I could just do that on my HOTAS anyway. I don't need to use my voice. It's not really a major problem. Crank my neck back. Good shot. The support ship. Lock target. Lock target. Oh, gave him a nudge. He's destroyed. So we'll get these guys out of the way and then I'll swap uh, over to the Y Wing. Bring in a bigger ship to take on. Manually fire the missile. It is a fast paced game, so sometimes you're going to want to use buttons over your voice, but it's still cool to have the option activate repairs. Target next friendly. So that's the frigger. Max power to engines. If I head back there, I can rearm and resupply. Let's just head into the practice menu. We'll switch over. We'll do the Y Wing. Ready to launch.
But now I have a different loadout. Loadout commands on. Turret on left. Torpedo on right. Loadout commands off. Loadout commands off. There we go, got the beep. So let's bring in an enemy raider. Max power to shields. Next target. Max power to weapons. Balance power. So we sneak up on him behind the debris. Oh, he's turning into us now. So if I fire the torpedo, which it's just tried to do, same we're out of range, there's a good chance he'd shoot it down because the fire's coming in at me. So I need to be clever, do it at range, and then move away, draw the fire towards me, not at what I'm firing. So we get this rotary cannon spun up again. See his shields are slowly going down. Max power to engines. Activate boost. Nice. Balance power. Power to weapons. Just make it for that little hole. Balance power. Fire torpedo on my mark. Fire. <laughs> Torpedoes away. Right, your shields are down. Activate turret. So you see the left hard point being deployed. Turret over my head. Max power to engines. Activate boost. Balance power. Fire torpedo on my mark. Fire torpedo on my mark. Mark. some of these turrets. There we go. Max power to engines. Activate boost.
fly a torpedo on my mark. Fire. Use this debris for cover. Looks like the torpedo's not going to make it. Torpedo myself. Target destroyed. So there you go guys. So at the moment, voice attack is on sale. I think it's about six pounds seventy-five, something like that. But normally it's nine pounds, it's not too expensive. So if you like what you see, it gives you time to get the software, even if you want to try the demo out, uh, and then get it set up. Go see the guys at HCS Voice Packs, they've got their own Discord channel, they're very, very helpful. You get excellent support if you've got any problems. And what I'm doing is just trying to get some more samples for r2d2 trying to get good clean ones where there's no music in the background um, and try and put them into the right folders so that when i give a command you know his his reply is fitting to what we're doing so you know if he's a little bit scared because you know we've had to deploy countermeasures or stuff like that just to just to help with the immersion so it's going to take me a little while before i'm happy but when i am we will do uh the video to help you do the custom sounds and share them for you all so we'll leave it there guys have a great day have a great evening whatever it is you choose to do after watching this and as always i'll see you when i see you next ciao for now